time is not certain anymore. The memory hurts, the missing gets big. The small pieces of the past seem comfort, but the same pieces bring sadness and confusion. Chaos. Yesterday is completed and definitive. There is no return. It won't ever be the same. Oh, thank you, my darling. That's Happy lovely. birthday, Mum. Ah, oh, thank you. Do me a favour and buy these out. Ah, one The strength is a mask that hides the tears. Control doesn't exist in the quest to rebuild. I changed in direction to the new. New eyes. New smiles, new truths, and it all doesn't make sense when unnoticed. Nothing stops. The same concerns, the same work. Now is when help is needed. Which look will be comfort when all are gone? I work, waiting for the next moment, and in the end, all I get is doubt. There is no way not to think in the shadows. No reason to put back the twinkle in the eyes. There is just hope, nothing more. straight past me. I was distracted. I'm sorry. Are you okay? I'm okay. I heard about your mum. I'm sorry. I just can't believe it happened. I'll be here for anything you need. I think I just need some space. You can go home now. I'm sorry about that. The candle of yesterday now seems to burn less. The fire now starts to heat. Surprise and a glimmer of confusion suspended for seconds. After all, how not to notice hope becoming real. Everything changes so quickly. Sorrow relent in new eyes. Happiness is a new possibility that impresses. And tomorrow is a good way to calm desperation. A doubt dissipates, giving way to another. A glance takes place in my thoughts, and fragile words echo long in my memory. Timidly, I surrender, and give myself the chance to live. Small actions become remarkable, fast meetings become eternal, and days build harmony and affection. Sweet gestures, sweet words, the mere presence. The little nothing becomes the beginning of a smile. The great doubt no longer bothers me. There are so many ways to want you. The calm and the peace of not being alone. Life returns to be a bit like it was before. A toast to the subtle, 
and to the affection. A toast to love. A toast to words that enchanted me. Life cannot be as it was before. My fragility plays tricks with my mind. And what I feel can't be truth. It's just delusion. Affection became fake love. Beauty made me confused. And I must understand that, really. Only desire existed. Presence itself is no longer enough. Romantic kiss do not have appeal. I want to touch. I want a long kiss. I can feel that something has changed. Now the touch is hotter. What happened to the lovely novel? Did it exist? Was it a dream? It is better to accept this desire now. Otherwise, everything is ended. I rather this fire burning than that freezing cold. In the end, she surrenders to my passion and let the fire grow. In the end, it all leads to the same way anyhow. Are not the eyes, nor the smile. It's just attraction. But there is no more sure, no more love. I feel the touch, and I want to go further. I feel the warmth that heats inside. How do you feel? Things have changed. You used to be romantic. Now we seem to be falling apart. What do you want from me? I don't know. The cold wind blows while the consciousness gets lost, seeking for sense in the absence. The eyes freeze, the memory is a mirage, a snowflake melting slowly. In the end of the afternoon, there is one heat that, in the beginning of the night, will be divided, love disfigured in desire. <laughs>